Subscribe to this channel and like this video if dogs are better than cats. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Really, I just want to say a huge thank you to those of you that keep coming back video after video to watch me play decks and sometimes play them badly, sometimes play them amazingly. But either way, thank you guys so much for sticking around with this channel. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers. And if you've been watching the content for a while, and you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so now. So we have our Bolton deck. It is a real electrifying deck. I gotta say, no pun intended there, but who let the dogs out? We got a very low maintenance, one prize attacker. Let's take a look at it. So Boltund here with the first attack corner comes in clutch in a pinch, but we really wanna be using the Defiant Spark attack. If this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, this attack can be used for just a single lightning energy. So how do we get damage counters on our Boltund? Well, we're actually going to be damaging ourselves through the use of Old Cemetery. So if we can find an Old Cemetery, play it down, and then attach an energy to Boltund, we're gonna get two damage counters onto our Boltund and be able to use Defiant Spark for that single energy. Now we've combined that Boltund with, of course, well, we gotta have a Yamper, right? And this Yamper is so good for setting up the rest of our deck has this ball search ability. It says when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may put a Pokeball, a Great Ball, or one of each from your discard pile into your hand. So if we look at the balls, we are going to be playing level ball. We got our four Great Ball and we have a single Pokeball since on a coin flip, you don't wanna rely on it, but we do have just one included so we can take advantage of it with the Yamper. Also standard here is our Inteleon line to do just a bit more damage with Inteleon's quick shooting because Boltund doesn't do you know any one hit knockouts on opponents pokemon that are the v's and the v maxes we're going to need inteleon to try to keep pace with those decks but this deck why you would want to play this it's a one prizer which we don't really have a lot in this format and it can beat a lot of the other one prize decks like malamar for instance uh, and it holds its own against many of the other v max decks aside from Mew. Mew can be a really tricky matchup because they can shuffle themselves back in with the Mew V's attack, but things like Single Strike Urshifu, things like Leafeon, things like, oh, I don't know, the random other VMAX decks out there, you're going to have a decent time with. You're at least going to be able to trade and go toe to toe with them. So this is our Bolton deck, courtesy of Poke Drummer, a longtime viewer of the channel. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it's a Mew deck. They could get a knockout. But they can't get a knockout if we bench a Yamp. Uh, hmm. Hmm. This is tough, because I'd like to get a, uh, you know, a Sobble here. But I'd also like to attach the Speed Lightning to a benched Yamper. So... We're going to we're going to attach the speed lightning to a bench damper here. Let's go level ball. Um Yeah, cuz it's a Mew deck, right? So, well, they're playing Crobat. Maybe it's not a Mew deck. Okay, okay. Uh I'm I'm going to be a little risky. I'm going to be a little risky. Let's get that Sobble. Let's go ahead and speed lightning. Obviously that was done maybe in error, but we kind of don't get punished cuz we get another Sobble. So I'm pretty cool with this. Let's go ahead and um, pass her. They find me. What's it like, dude? Oh, we finally tanked the ELO enough. Let's go. Let's go. We are out of the depths of despair. Okay, all right, all right, we got a shot. This will be an appropriate, you know, match, right? This, this, we got things, we got things and stuff. If you feel? They about to boss that Sobble. <laughs> Imagine being caring. <laughs> Let's go Drizzop. And we're going to look to get an Evo Incense. And we will Evo Incense. What should we get? Oh, should we get our main attacker? Well, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Let's get our main attacker. Let's go ahead and scoop up net. Scoopy uppy. 
put them back down, and we'll research. They don't got anything. Pretty confident in that. Uh, we do find ourselves another Boltund. Another Rotund Boltund. Go Quick Ball. Or excuse me, Great Ball, I should say. And we'll get the Yamper, because we can do this really cool play. Watch this. Yeet. Um. Sure. That's fine. And we'll Sobble. And we'll Yamper. And we'll do this. I think I'll just hold these. There's no real reason to play them, because there's nothing we can evolve this turn. So then... We should... Uh, we should define Spark, I think. Corner shouldn't... More than likely, Corner's not going to do all that much, so let's just try to two-shot this Crobat and see where we can go from here. Fan Club says, Rapid Strike Urshu with Moltres has finally caught on. Yeah, I mean, that's the other... I think that's the other uh, piece, right? Because Urshifu is just... Like, when you're looking for meta counters um, in this format, it's like... I think Urshifu is like the best. It's like the best card, I think, in a vacuum, right? Like if it didn't have psychic weakness, it might be. It, if it didn't have psychic weakness, it might be like the best card in the format. The problem is that with Pokemon, you have, you know, you have this like weakness mechanic that makes things really hard. Um. So all that to say, like, it's just a good card. It's a freaking good card. It's probably, again, it's probably the best card if it didn't have Psychic Weakness. So, yeah. Rapid Strike, Urshifu, Moltres. That's my deck. Happy to see it starting to catch on a little bit. We've made it to the Mewtwo portion of the ladder. Thank goodness. Um. Well, great ball. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to double evolve Drizziles. Oh, dude, that's so sneaky. They could potentially win. Well, no, they can't win on Calyrexes. But, like, they could potentially, like, we can't play a stadium here. That's so sneaky. Oh, that's really sneaky. So I don't even know what I want. <laughs> Off of these. I guess we'll get... Oh, Energy Search would be kind of bad, wouldn't it? I just want to evolve on the next turn into Inteleons. So... Um... Like, I don't... I don't want anything. Can I... Can I just... Can I just not take anything? I mean, I recognize I can, but... All right, we'll go Drizzile. Because there's no real benefit to attaching an energy, you know what I mean? I think we still will. There's no, there's no benefit to doing so. We'll do it onto a Drizzile in case we ever have to attack with the, um, with the big boy. All right, there we go. Um, I mean, there's nothing that we need, so let's just take the Inteleon. Sure, all right. And then we got Pokeball for later. Let's go ahead and Defiant Spark. We'll just keep doing 130 damage. They might be able to stall us out for a few more turns, but we're chilling. Thank you so much. I'm smitten for the follow. Welcome on in. More Pico is actually busted if we had one more way. Um, I think low-key, low-key, more Pico is insane. If we had Jinx in the format, for instance, I think like a Jinx or if Marpico could do damage to itself, like I think it's, I think it's really good, but we just don't have that. And we, and you got to contend with like quick shooting and stuff. It's tough. Uh, I'm Smitten says, which Marpico? There's a, there's a single strike Marpico that does more damage based on the amount of damage counters on it. So you can pair it with decks that play Houndoom, or you can make it into its own deck. And then, you know, you can do just a ton of damage based on how many of your single strike energy. If you get three on there, then you'd have 40 damage counters. That would be 44 times three, 120. 
plus three energy, so 180. So you'd be doing, you know, 360 to any like Mew or Shadow Rider, which is cool. What does this thing do again? I'm not, nice drip, dude. Prevent all effects of attacks. Okay. So I really want to hold on to the boss's orders because what I suspect is going to happen is they're going to switch between just a ton of uh, of different guys. So I just want to make sure that we have enough bosses to like get around that. You feel me? All right. Um, I'm going to save the Drizzile. I don't know. We could get we could get one Inteleon for the Crobat. I could be okay. Um, yeah, there's there's really nothing we need besides Inteleon. So let's go ahead and Bruno here. I know I'm putting back a Drizzile in, but I kind of feel like that's just a better. Okay, the the universe wants me to go for it. So let's go Drizzile. That's our last one, but we'll go Evo Incense for the Inteleon. And get one out, and then I'll just like slightly ping this uh, this crowbat, and then we're kind of setting up for the next turn to take two prizes on that guy. All right, so let's go Inteleon. Do it here. We're also evolving up our Inteleons to make sure that we don't get board wiped by a Mewtwo, which would be pretty sad as well. So there's twenty. We will Defiant Spark. I'm not gonna drop the old cemetery. Um, just because, you know, we don't want to, um, we want to make sure we have those later in the game when we can attach an energy. So yeah, I know we have spike mooth. It just doesn't work out as well, right? Like if you, like if you guys have played the deck, like it just, the HP is less, it doesn't auto damage itself so it's a lot slower that's the real big problem the spear tomb like you can have those pop-off turns but like at the very least you're doing you know 40 or 70 damage on turn one right and that's like a lot of pressure at least a format ago right because then you're threatening like turn two knockouts pokemon had less hp but then more pico you have to have a turn where you set up everything. Like it's not just the one spear tomb. You have to set up everything. And then you have to, um, you know, and then you have to get, then uh, the next turn you have to pop off like as well, you know, so it makes it hard. We might not get an attack off this turn. That's savage. That is savage. All right. Well, oh, we could do 70 with the Inteleon, but I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, we get the old cemetery. Let's go. Um, Old cemetery. I think we have to go to the active, right? Oh, we get our Pokeball. Let's freaking go, dude. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, we're going to take a prize, though. That's nice. Dang, that stinks. All right, we'll have to see what we get off the prizes here. So there's a ping once. Ping twice. Give daddy some prizes. There's a bolt hunt in here. There's a bolt hunt in here. Let's go. Totally calculated. <laughs> Yeah, ca calculated for sure. <laughs> so then, um, what's our route? Because again, they're gonna they're gonna retreat into this Shadow Rider, I think, or they might let this one tank a hit, and we're trying to go after this Shadow Rider and this Shadow Rider. So on the next turn, Exodia is being assembled, dude. There's three already. Oh my gosh. Am I excited to be a true daddy? Yes, I have been thinking a lot about it. It's really exciting. It should be very fun. Very fun and um, good content.
yeah, it should be should be should be good content. Yeah, that's that's what I'm most excited about. So, um, hmm. do we think they play Switch? They play one Switch. Oh, do they play multiple Switch? I think okay so now we have to do like this and go here and then do this oh but we don't have another yampy oh, things are going downhill real fast all right so we'll quick shoot the active and then quick shoot this guy and then we'll corner Just don't have the switch, baby girl. Yeah, I know I have knockout with quick shooting, but that doesn't seem like a winning play, right? Because I want to buy a turn where they where they can't attack me, right? So the original thought was to go up with the Articuno, but if I if I knock them out, then they come up and attack me, and then I don't have an attack for next turn. Right? So I want to try to keep the bolt hunt alive. Because I can do I can quick shoot on the next turn, and then I can do 130 to like a fresh thing. And that's just better damage conservation. So. Willing to leak the name? We don't have a name yet. See? See? Calculated? Exactly what we wanted to do. There's our Yamper. This is, this is exactly what we needed. We take... Okay. It's exactly what we needed to do. Um... Go great ball. Poke Pock Pockman ball. All right. Shady dealings in Teleon. Quick shooter. Now we'll take our three prizes. And then we're gonna we're gonna boss if we can. Um, we will be able, excuse me, we will be able to. So we'll boss this up. This is looking like a dub here, fellas. Let's go here. Inteleon. Take a boss and a stadium. Ooh, it's our last boss. Okay, that's important. But as long as they don't play a healing card, we're going to be just fine. So do that. We'll do this. Go boss. Right chair. Kind of taking the long way. That's okay. Do that. Um, like a little nervous of the Mewtwo. But uh, yeah, they are just going to scoop. Let's go. Let's I, now this deck I think we can beat. I will say I think we can beat Single Strike. I have no idea how you did so well, a Wild Drummer. I have no idea, bro. Oh, you want to get the extra damage going? Okay, so it, it really kind of revolves around the Inteleons, huh? All right, hey, thanks for sticking around, Dan. Have a good weekend, my man. They are just on something. We're going to Marnie you, don't worry. Don't worry. Do not worry. Do not worry. Or tomorrow will worry about itself. Oh, baby. Level ball? What'd you call me? Pass. Like, I, I, the greedy play, the super greedy play is to go into another Sobble. Because, again, if we can, like, chain the Drizzles, that'd be super good. But, like, the correct play is to just get another Yamper. It hurts. It hurts. But it is what it is. Yeah, 24 cards with four Genesects. So, let's say... So, like, what does your opening hand have to be? 
Because you want to play cards you can burn, right? And like draw other cards out of the deck from, or with, I should say. And then there'd be a first turn. First turn going first versus first turn going second. And how many cards you can draw with the Mew deck there. So, and we got a pretty good hand here. I mean, honestly, even if they get a retreat, I, I'm chilling, man. There is that draw. What's the routing here? Okay, they're going to single strike Roar. I would expect them to go to the active. Oh, they're going to go to the bench. Do they have a switch? What's an auto win? How, how did you get, you know, top eight with this deck, my dude? <laughs> how? <laughs> how did this become this become this? Become this? How did it happen, my dude? Dang. Um, level ball. Gotta go fast, man. We really do. Gotta go fast. Um, we'll do that. Do we play switch or, or scoop up net? I think we do, but I don't want to use it. Yeah, we play one scoop up net, one air balloon. Huh. All right, so we got to go here. We got to go here. Let's go here. Let's do this. Go for a research because their hand's not particularly good. Go here. Rescourge. Retreat. Get on your feet. Everybody do the dinosaur. Um Old Cemetery. Now we need We need level ball for a new a new gentleman. All right, love a ball. Put me in, coach. Sobble. And Defiant Spark. Let's go. Oh, it's almost an auto win for us. Okay, with the Bolton deck. I see, I see. I thought you were saying it was an auto win for them. And I was like, how do we... <laughs> How do how do we win? How, what, what? <laughs> actually, we might we might actually just lose if they have one more tower. Um, if they have one more tower, we do just lose. So, oh, that's not a good spot to be in. All right, put up the yamp dog. Um, we'll go you here on the drizzle. Get ourselves. Um, the symmetry. Do we want to Silencio Bruno? No. Pitch it. Ye. And then we will attach. Looking for... Wow. Wow. Looking for anything there. Wow. Looking for anything. Looking... Holding out for a hero. Uh, I need a hero. Holding up a hero to the morning line. Gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. You're forgiven. <laughs> You're forgiven. We are going to take a knockout on this Umbreon, which is pretty cool. Let's go, Yamp Dog. Go get another Inteleon. I am here for it. Um, and now at this point, we're going to have to make some like counter shenanigans work, I think. So that's going to be the play. I'll keep the Yamper in hand because there's nothing that we want to dig for at this point. And then we'll do this. We'll do this. And then we'll take a knockout on the active. And we only need three more prizes to win this game. 
I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know how we're getting there. We really need them to not hit that old cemetery. Got to keep that in play for a few more turns. <laughs> I don't know why, but your content reminds me of Northern. Dude, I watch him all the time. That's probably why. He's like a, he's a, that dude is a genius for sure. In my opinion, he's a content creation genius, man. <clears throat> that guy knows how to talk. I don't, I've never heard somebody who, you know, can talk the way that he can for hours. It's crazy. They should not have evolved this. They should not have evolved this. They should have just kept it the regular boy and then uh done a done a similar thing with that umbreon so they are probably going to lose which we're cool with and we got the old symmetry all right yamp dog uh old symmetry is in play let's go level ball i don't think we have anything yeah i was gonna say i didn't didn't think we had uh, much of anything left. Let's go. Um, do I, is there, do I care? I don't really care. We can pretty much fetch anything we want. So let's go speed lightning here. Um, give me, yes, my third Inteleon. Thank you. Thank you, next. I'm so grateful for my eggs. Bacon eggs, bacon eggs, bacon eggs. I'm so grateful for my eggs. I know it's, I know it's eggs. I know. I know. Um, shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. The thing with single strike is they don't often play a lot of switch cards. So with that in mind, we could gust up a Crobat and potentially just corner it. Now, the reason I wouldn't want to make that play is because we can still hit for 130. And again, like it's all about damage conservation and we could just define spark. And as long as they don't gust up an Inteleon, then we basically have game here. Yeah, we basically have game either way. But, uh, yeah, because we put them at, so they need to have like Cheryl. If they have Cheryl, then we lose. There's the retreat. If they don't knock out an Italian, we will have done it. Great record with our Bolton deck. This rocks, man. I don't know why I waited so long to play this one. This is really fun. There's a single strike roar. They they should never have evolved the Umbreon though. That's just bad. That's just bad play. I don't know. I guess they lose either way. So, eh, maybe you're right. Thank you. Next, and they didn't counter the stadium, dude. That's so sick. GG to my opponent, Bolton coming in clutch. So if you enjoyed that video, please make sure to like it. It helps other people see this content and uh, helps grow the channel. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers. It'd be awesome to hit that by the new year. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If I don't see you soon, I'll see you later. And remember, good luck and also have fun. Oh yeah, also, here's some videos that you can check out. You might like them. I'm, actually, I, I know you like them. If you made it to the end of this one, you're gonna like these.